What's up guys? Chris McKinney from RaiseMotorsports.com. You know this is the first of many videos that we're going to do and I wanted to start out by introducing you to the team and showing you a little bit about what we do. You know generally speaking aftermarket and diesel truck performance companies are really really good at building the hard parts of their kits but fail miserably when it comes to electronics. It's the reason why turbo, nitrous, and tuner kits have such a bad reputation for being harmful to the life of the engine. And like I said before, it's not the hard parts in their kit that's bad. It's the electronics every single time. Our mission here at Ray's Motorsports is to fix that bad reputation by offering properly engineered electronics at an affordable price. We design and engineer niche market engine management packages tailored vehicle specific from the ground up. Let's look at one of our products as an example. Snow bikes are the new up and coming thing in the power sports world. They're originally designed to be used naturally aspirated, warm weather, low altitude, with a dirt bike tire as its engine load. Now there's thousands of guys out there using that same platform in sub-zero temperatures, massive elevation swings, trying to spin a snowmobile track for an engine load, and then for the power loss making up for it with nitrous and turbocharger kits, but trying to control it with a fuel control box stacked on top of a stock ECU. It doesn't take too much common sense to understand why you need to go back to the drawing board, design something from the ground up to manage these new tasks, just like an OEM engineer would do. There is no box or reflash out there that will ever give maximum potential, let alone a fully autonomous riding experience as the OEM designed it to be. So for this assignment, we laid out a new hardware platform that includes a barometric pressure sensor on the board, inputs for an O2 sensor, a large amount of RAM to run a 1 kHz closed loop tuning, and a knock sensor input for feed forward knock control. We then paired the bootloader to our firmware, wrote a snow bike engine strategy in a program called MATLABS, implemented it into our calibration tool chain, and then spent a couple hundred hours in the mountains calibrating the engine so we knew our customers would never have to worry about the tune. We do also design and build some of our own performance kits if we feel there's nothing in the market that exists to our standards to pair our ECUs with. So long story short, that's what we do. Now let me introduce you to the team that makes this all come to life. So this is Tom Hill. I met Tom when I was 13 years old. I grew up racing ATVs, and at the time there was nothing else in the world that mattered to me. My first time meeting Tom, he was tuning his drag race ATV. Now this wasn't just any ATV. This was a twin cylinder, two stroke, all built engine he personally designed and machined from scratch. It ran on alcohol, and he would pressurize the crankcase with 100 pounds of nitrous oxide, spraying two pounds through it in a seven second quarter mile pass. Now, when you're a 13 year old kid, obsessed with engines and ATVs, watching a guy make 500 horsepower dyno poles with a quad? Let's just say that first impression was imprinted forever. Since that day, Tom has built every single engine, chassis, and setup of mine to date. He's a master welder, machinist, and straight up mad scientist when it comes to making a vision come to life. Tom Hill is now our head fabricator and chief design officer. You know, years ago, Tom and I would build the baddest mechanical builds money and talent could produce. And then there was the electronics. Not only were we clueless, but there was nothing worse than being in full control of the mechanical side of the project and then having to rely on some third-party guy to come reflash our stock ECU or try to learn some black magic fuel box that we knew wasn't the right way to do it. So one day we sat down and started going through our notes on the hundreds of thousands of dollars we spent fixing engines and other problems that we had through the years and found there was one thing in common. Every single damaged engine and issue we had related back to not having proper engine management when it came to electronics every single time. So I went on a mission to find the best electronics talent in the world, and I found this dude named Rob Crane. His background roots from the military designing turbine engine ECUs, writing engine strategies, and calibrating them. He then went into the corporate world and working for Ford and Subaru and learned that he hated the corporate environment. Tried out the racing world like an NHRA and multiple others, which sounds cool, but when you're part of those teams, 95% of your life is spent in hotels and on airplanes. You know, when I met Rob, we told him about all of our problems we were having, and he just chuckled. He says, you power sports guys just don't get it. He says, you can't expect something to work that an engineer never designed it to do. He explained how the projects needed purpose design electronics so the ECU has full control of the application. So we immediately hired him to design our ECUs, harnesses, and calibrate our engines. One project led to the next, and all of a sudden our twin turbo Duramax quit melting pistons. My turbocharged snowmobile, I could take anywhere in the world, and the engine ran flawlessly without me ever having to adjust anything. A man and I could go on our 200 mile endurance offshore races, never have to call Towboat US to get towed home. And last but not least, we weren't going through cases of belts when we would go to St. Anthony's and Glamis with our razors, blowing them up every hour. You know, a few years later, Rob is our full-time employee here at Ray's Motorsports. He's our chief technical officer and mastermind engineer behind our electronics. On our sales side of things, we got myself and two other dudes. First off, we've got Taylor Dettin. He's from West Yellowstone, Montana, and 11 years ago was actually the guy that introduced us to the backcountry snowmobiling world. Raise Motorsports. 
I immediately picked up on his customer skills and actually recruited him to come sell for our construction company. Taylor has recently moved home to West Yellowstone to reunite with his passion, the wilderness and motorsports. Taylor now manages our online presence and handles sales calls with Jason. Now Jason, he's been working for me for nine years. And long story short, was just straight up burnt out on the construction side of things. He's been one of our top producers, winning multiple awards with the company for top performance and outstanding customer service. Yeah, what kind of truck do you have, sir? A Chevy? He's extremely passionate about making sure his customers are happy, and more importantly, standing behind our model of do what you say, say what you do, and prove it. Let's talk about the guy taking care of our ordering and shop quality control before products ship. Steve Taylor. Steve and I go way back. You know, back as young kids, some dude was picking a fight with me, had a knife on him, and Steve saw what was going down. He stepped in, roundhouse the guy in the face, and fractured over 20 bones in his face. Since that day, Steve and I have been lifelong friends, and he's still nicknamed Chuck Norris for that day. Steve has ran production for our construction company for many years, coordinating 15, 20 projects a day. Keeping track of what we do on the motorsports side of things for the entire year is equivalent to about one week of what we do on the construction company. With that being said, I run a tight ship, and Steve Taylor is the only person I would ever trust for this position. So. Amanda's been my better half since 2005. When I met her, she owned and ran a salon with 30 employees. In 2006, she left her share of the salon to her mom and came with us to New England to help grow our construction company. She worked her way up from sales to production, accounting, and then earned her position as CFO. She successfully built a strong team underneath her, managing 10 to 15 million in sales a year, and is now the CFO of Ray's Motorsports. <laughs> she actually daily drives a 700 horsepower Duramax and can throw down on a jet ski offshore with some of the best I've ever seen. Here at Ray's Motorsports, everyone has one thing in common. Everyone involved here is passionate about what they do. Highly skilled at their department, and most important, when given a mission like Ray's Motorsports has, I know that it will be accomplished time and time again. If you're one of those companies that knows they have a good performance product, but are way behind when it comes to the electronic side of things, we can fix that. Give us a call below for your free consultation, and we'll be seeing you soon.